Hey, Mr. Pozzo, how you doing? Yes, Micromunch, your manager. Guy got your Champions League Leicester last year? No? No? I was just looking at the season objectives you set this year, and I mean, it's it's brilliant, and I'm, I'm flattered that you think I can do such a good job, even though you can't remember my name. But I was wondering if there's any chance we could just slightly turn them down. I mean, getting to the, the, the semi-final of the Champions League the first time we're in the competition seems a bit a bit wild, doesn't it? Yeah, I know I had £118 million, but City probably got like £1 billion. I could I could have spent it on a centre back, but I mean we we've got some really quality centre backs here. Yeah, I know the clean sheet record doesn't look, make it look that way. Well, can I have some extra money then? Just a little bit, just to get me over the line. No, no, Mr. Pozzo, Mr. Pozzo. Ah, this desk keeps changing sizes. I swear it was bigger last time. Hello there viewers and welcome to another episode of my FIFA 21 career mode save. I hope this finds you all very well. And oh dear me, we have an offer for Mohamed Darame. Athletic Bilbao have offered £13.3 million for my Danish wonder kid and surrogate son. I know a few people out there will be saying, yeah we got to sell him, but I can't. He's too valuable, he's still 20 years old and 75 rated. He could become absolutely amazing. He is listed as an exciting prospect and he's going to get a lot more game time this year. So expect to see a lot more of Mohamed Darame. I'm going to turn that down, even though it seems like quite good money. There are players I'd rather sell over him. In terms of what we've got coming up today then, we've got Manchester United away to start with, then a league game at home to Brighton, and if we have time, an away game at Bramall Lane against Sheffield United. However, I'm thinking about maybe saving that for next episode, because that means we can also have transfer deadline day. I'm not going to have enough time to get through all of that today. So maybe to keep it a little bit exciting, we might leave the uh, Sheffield United game until the next one. Depends on how much transfer business we do in the in-between. Now this is interesting, we've actually had a few bids come in, but not for our players, apart from Camavinga who's up there, but we're going to say no to that, because that's £75 million from PSG. But Soyuncu is a player that I have wanted for a little while, Kagler Soyuncu, and apparently Roma have offered £40.7 million for him. That is actually something I could afford, so I'm wondering maybe if we go in with a sneaky bid for Kagler Soyuncu as maybe my centre-back? I mean, there's no way I can get rid of Camavinga, no matter what the offer is. £75.5 million pounds is just not enough for Camavinga. But Kaglar Soyuncu, he's a bit older though, Soyuncu. He's 26 years old, going on 27. I'm wondering if he's maybe what I need. I don't know what his overall level is. It's got to be quite high, but I don't know what his overall level would be. And I don't really want to scout someone, buy someone that I'm not sure what their level is going to be. So I might hold far on Soyuncu. That's a really tough call, because I do like Soyuncu a lot. Well, before any chance of business then, let's get stuck into the game against Manchester United, who all lost their first game, because they're currently down in 17th. So, I mean, that's that's terrific. Hopefully we can keep them down there. Uh, in terms of the lineup, I'm not really going to change anything. Obviously, the big news is the return of Ismaila Saar on the right-hand side there, coming up against his former team. This is going to be difficult. They're playing Fred at left-back. Well, I think Nicolas Pepe knows exactly where to target then. They got a really good team there. I mean, they got Busquets still. I mean, that that midfield is aging there. Busquets, McTominay, obviously not, but Busquets, Fred, Chiamulera. I think we can get at them. They got my nan in goal as well. Not my nan. They'd be struggling if they had her in goal. There he is, the main man, Ismaila Saar, against his old team, the team that made him. Ismaila, don't be, don't be bad to me, mate. I'm gonna try and hold my bias and say, Old Trafford looks great. It looks great. It doesn't look like a place of forgotten dreams. Oh, I see Dean Henderson playing against his old side as well. We won the Old Trafford last year. Let's hope we can do it again. Obviously, the key to this is going to be stopping Bruno Fernandes because he's a bit ridiculous on this game. So it's going to have to be a case of stopping him. They've got Chiro Mobley up front as well, who's going to be difficult to stop. He's a very, very good player. And Fernandes is already in. This is dangerous. But we've done well here. We've just marshaled him out. Yeah, well done, boys. Rashford, tackled by Jack Grealish, the better England player. Come on, Jack, on you go, mate. Good ball by him into Camavinga, who releases Neres. We're in already. This is a chance. Neres up against Wambasaka. Wambasaka, one of the best one on one defenders in the league. That is a corner. Do not give me that. 
It might be Magnan, but I, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced my nan or my nan. Same same thing. I've literally just said the same thing. Oh no, Rashford's in. It's one 0 to United. And remember, these are the games that really I need to be looking at getting points from if we're going to maintain a Champions League place this year. That's a great ball in there by Chiro Mobley. And Rashford was never going to miss. Great finish. That's disappointing. It's his first goal of the season. Bugger. They're putting on a bit of pressure at the back, though. And they're just feeding it through so nicely. You know? They're playing some really nice stuff. I mean, I can't, I can't get near them right now. I just want to get a bit of the ball. We haven't really had any of the ball yet. I mean, that's not going to help. It's a poor ball to... They're getting every single decision. It really is like being at Old Trafford. We keep reading their throw-ins, which is good. Now Neres has nicked the ball for Ambasaka. Off we go. Off we go. Myron is just not making the runs at the moment. That's better from him. Boadu. Up against Fred. Go on, mate. You can do him for pace. Myron, I mean, it's just so bad by Myron. Myron's really out of form at the moment. He didn't finish last season particularly that well, apart from the last two games. And I've got to say, he's not exactly started off well this year either. He looks like a shadow of the player he was last year. Just not making the right runs. It's very, very irritating. Got to cheek darts inside. Boadu, we're playing well now. We've got a bit more of the ball. We seem to have calmed down and controlled it a bit better. Nice one to Morelos. Morelos across the goalkeeper. On his wrong foot, I could have done better, I should have done better. That's a big chance, and Morelos has spooned it wide. Maybe I could have cut it back, I don't know. Not good there, though. But better football, that's for sure. Kabats does really well to win that against Immobile. But Loftus cheat not as well. Grealish, oh, it's just so poor by Myron. He's just slowing down the play. He's not making the right runs, he's slowing down the play. It's infuriating at the moment. Boadu is the issue at the moment. Everyone else is playing really well, but every time the ball goes to Myron, he's killing the move. I have to stay with what I've got for the minute. We've, we play better, and you can't. Myron's got the record to prove that he's only had a bad 45 minutes. But I need a bit more. I need more from the team than what I've seen here. We're not moving the ball quickly enough. The, the, the runs aren't right. It's not. It's just not good enough. Go on, Myron. That's it. Finally, we get him isolated in a 1-1. One -one. He feeds it inside. Jack Grealish takes one touch. Grealish hits it. It's a great save by my nan. Unlucky, mate. That's better. First real opportunity we've had on goal. And that was much more like it. Right, well, Neres is coming off. He's not done a lot. So Moise Keane's going to go up front. Dorami's going to come out onto that left-hand side. There's a goal in this for us, definitely. I can sense there's a goal. We've played well enough to get a draw out of this, in all fairness. United have had one moment. And that's better from Loftus Cheat into Grealish. He's easily been the best player today. Grealish on the ball feeds it in. Loftus Cheat to Camavinga. Camavinga, good ball to Morelos. Go on, mate. Before you go off, one last bit of good work. Morelos tees it back. Boadu. Oh, that's a finish, son. That's what I wanted. Great finish by Myron on Boadu. We nit the ball. 1 1. Brilliant from Grealish and Camavinga. Morelos does great as well to pick out his man. Myron Bodu is off and running. That's 92 goals for Watford. He's bearing down on the target. He makes a great run across the front of the defender. That's a, such a good finish. It's such a good finish. He's looking the wrong way. Look at that. I'm not sure how he's managed to make it go for his calf, but it's a brilliant finish by Myron Bodu. It's cheeky. It's beautiful. It's Bodu. On come the reinforcements. Keen. And Dorame on. Let's go win this. 1-1. One, one. I'll take that. A pretty quiet game, to be fair. We had a few chances. And a game of few chances. We were the better team, I think, in terms of creativity. But overall, not not too displeased with that. You can tell they're low scoring affair. United had one shot. One on target. Scored it. We had three and two. Arguably the better team. I'll take that. Just whenever I, whenever I worry about questioning my run... He just turns up and does something brilliant. That's a good point. A really good point. <laughs> Leon have offered £59.4 million pounds for even off the cheek. They're all barking up the wrong trees. These are players I'm not going to get rid of. No, I can't. I can't get rid of Ruben Loftus cheek. He's easily one of my best players. There's no way I'm getting rid of him. I've still not found a centre back that I'm really 100% sold on yet. There's got to be someone out there. Right, well, no more transfer business then, other than those bids for Loftus cheek. I mean, like. I've got 40 million. I feel like I should be able to spend it, but I just don't know 
where to spend it and annoyingly actually some of my center backs are quite tired uh cabach in particular is quite tired so it's going to be time to make a few changes to the lineup i think okay so i made a couple of changes to the lineup a uh, bakayo saka is going to come in for david neres who's not played particularly that well in the first opening couple of games and salvo is coming in for cabach is quite tired it's worth noting as well that keith bosch our third, one of our real good youngsters is actually on the bench and i am going to potentially bring him on for this so this could be the first appearance of one of our young prospects from the youth academy it's quite exciting i'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on it's always good that it's right at the back as well because we're just so strong there Oh, it's Christian Cavaselle. Oh he knows the club very well, does Christian Cavaselle. So this is going to be good fun. They're playing a flat back five at the moment as well. So 5-2-1-2. Two, two. This is going to be interesting because it's a formation we don't often play against. Hopefully we'll do the business, but you never know. Brighton can be quite tricky customers. Salba's in the reckoning here. He's got to put in a big performance because actually he's got a big role to play this season as the fourth, uh, as the fourth choice centre back. But he can obviously make, change that if he plays really well. Right, I'm doing a lot of the early pressing here, and I've not, apart from that drive into the box from Pepe, I've not really had anything. And Oliveira is playing some lovely stuff here. McAllister, we tackle Wesley though. All right, here we go. Pepe on the ball, shifts it inside. Nice ball to Camavinga. Camavinga driving forward with it, just waiting for that run. Oh, it's a great interception there by Tengalia, because otherwise Bakayo Saka was in. Oh my God, Lee Dixon's actually predicting me to win. I can't remember the last time that happened. What a ball. Pepe's in. Shimmy's inside. Pepe bends it. Oh, <laughs> it's just so good from Nicolas Pepe. He's our best rated player in the team now. And you can see why. He's brimming with confidence. Lovely ball there by Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Fake shots inside. Bang. Great finish into the far corner. The left foot's a wand. He's so damn good. He's so damn good. Two goals and three. Well done, wee man. That's a good ball into McAllister here, and they've got an issue. Oh, no. Sab has dived in. He's done well. I thought he'd done well. He hasn't. Same old, same old. Saber just gets the wrong side of his man. Wesley scores against us again. He's got a fantastic record against me. It's a good play by McAllister. I thought I had him there. I thought I was shimmying him wide. I didn't quite get hold of him. And Tanzave could possibly do better, but Wesley gets his second of the league, so obviously he's in good form. That is annoying are we gonna get a clean sheet this year are we ever going to get one i don't know just something about brighton on this game just give me or give me right headaches but they found Grealish in space here this is where you want him jack to loftus cheat he shifts it wide out to pepe moves lost a little bit of zip pepe into ruben ruben oh he went to swing for it and he just had it nicked off his foot, but that was better. Because some nice little play by us there. I'll say we've not really, we've not played well in this game at all. And Brighton are giving me a bit of a headache. That's Wesley. Well played by Fakayo Tomori. That was definitely a goal if he hadn't been there. Now Pepe on the ball. We finally got a bit of room. Pepe to Myron. Ball by Boadu into Pepe. He's away again from Carrera. Is he going to get near him? Little fake shot inside. Pepe tees it. Myron. Myron. Oh, for God's sake, how have they blocked that? It's been an exciting end-to-end -end game, but not really what I wanted. I'd like a nice, comfortable win, preferably. It is just not happening. We are struggling through games at the moment. Grealish is tired, which isn't ideal at all. So Grealish is going to come off. Gravenberch is going to come on. Uh, I'm going to move Loftus Cheek into that cam roll. Gravenberch is going to move back. To Anzby's knackered. So on comes for his first performance, Kees Bosch. Get excited, everyone. Got well played there by Gravenberch. His first thing is to make a decent tackle and give us the ball back. Sack has been really quiet, actually. We've just not found him at all. That's a good ball by Gravenberch. Out for Bosch. He's got his first touch in a Watford shirt. And that's a decent pass, to be fair to him. Hello, hello. Loftus cheek. What a goal. And it comes from Keith Bosch. That is beautiful. There it is. Ruben Loftus cheek gets his first of the season. Lovely play here. Keith Bosch with a lovely ball in from the back. We just shift it across. I thought that touch had taken it too wide and it had given the defender a chance to get there, but it hadn't. He gets out of seat. Great first touch. Bang. Drilled. High, fine, powerful net. 2 1. Get in. Good start. And as soon as he returns to that cam position, Ruben Loftus cheek is off the mark. Ray lost. Ball into Myron. It could be a quick fire double. Yes, it can. Maron Bodu is back, baby. He only needs one chance. 
Great finish. I, mean, I say that. He had two or three earlier. But it's a great finish by Myron. He's run through on goal. Good ball by Morelos. who finally does something. And some breathing space. That's a great pass there. The reverse ball. And never in doubt. That finish, we just get used to it these days. Good tackle there by Tamori. And he finds Camavinga. Camavinga, not the best ball by him to Ruben. But Ruben wins it. This ref is a nonsense. Literally, every time I win the ball, it's a foul. I'm struggling to get out my half here a little bit. But they've given the ball straight to Saka. That's good from him. And Ruben lost has got room here. Graven Birch fires it into Myron. Myron, he's away. They're not going to catch him. Boadu. It's two for Myron Boadu. Brilliant ball by Camavinga. We are flying now. Give us a uh, give us a bow, on Myron. <laughs> he's just so quick, so powerful. No one's getting near him, and got he's got three and three already this season. What a man! Wesley on the ball, trying to get away, but Saliba does really well. He doesn't there. What am I doing? What am I doing there? What am I doing? Saliba's had a mare. I've had a mare there. That's no one's fault but my own. I don't want to watch it again. It was just awful. Sergio Oliveira makes it four two. And then please tell me this isn't going to be a tense finish. I mean, I don't like the look of this at all, but we managed to keep the ball there. Ball into Pepe. Right, off we go. Nicolas Pepe. He's still full of beans, Pepe. I mean, this is going to be some goal. Nicolas Pepe. Oh, he's still got it. Finds Ruben. Tees it to Camavinga, who hits it. Oh, it's just over the bar. He's still got to keep it in there, but Saka wins the ball. That's nice from Saka. Good ball into Loftus Cheek. Not to cheat to Dura... Gravenberch fouled Durame there. Durame was definitely going to score that. That's really upset me there. I wanted a goal for the wee man. Oh, no. Connolly. Well done, Saliba. He makes a good tackle, Saliba. He just usually gives the ball away afterwards. But a 4-2 win. Get in. Two wins, one draw. I'll take that every day of the week for a start to a season. Much more exciting than the United game. Plenty of goals, plenty of action, plenty of terrible defensive gaffes from me. I'm just getting no offers for the players that I want to get offers for. Do you know what I mean? I'm just not getting anywhere with any of these. And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I'm not going to be able to get one of these really top quality centre-backs that I'm after. I'm never going to be able to get Upa Meccano. So I'm looking a little bit further afield. And there's some pretty decent players that I'm looking at. One that is catching my eye is Jules Koundé. Uh, and he's obviously now at Paris Saint-Germain in the save, as you can tell. And I think he might be a good signing. But I just don't know what his value is. And that's the issue. Because if I can get him off of PSG, I'd be delighted. Because I think he could be potentially perfect for us. Because he's a lot quick. Well, he's a lot quicker than most centre-backs. So I have no idea what his value is, Jules Koundé. But he could be the centre-back that I'm looking at, potentially. Because hopefully he'll be relatively cheaper than the other ones that I had in mind. Well, I think we need to make a signing at centre back because it, it just it's screaming out for it. And the two now that I think are or the three that I think are potentially possible are Eric Garcia, Tadebo, and Kunde. Kunde, I don't know. At five foot ten he's a bit smaller than I would want for a centre back. Tadebo's six foot three. Looks quite good. Twenty seventy eight rated isn't bad. And then you've got Eric Garcia, seventy six. He's not as quick, though. I'm going to go for Tadebo. I think Tadebo, I can make this guy into a very good central defender. So I'm going to go for Jean-Claire Tadebo. 26.5 million from Barcelona. I think it's worth a punt. He might not be the star signing that I wanted, but that could happen in January, depending on how much money I get in. But I think that this would be another good addition to the squad. Although, Keith Bosch in that last game played brilliantly. Right, so we have 26.5 million. I'm going to go 27. And yet, Barcelona's rep, a.k.a. Ronald Koeman, is delighted with that. So I'm going to take that every day of the week. Let's negotiate his wage. I think that's not a bad deal. 22-year-old, 78 rated, tall, quick, athletic. Got some decent attributes. Why not? He's on 88k. Bloody hell. I don't like the fact he doesn't have a real face. That's the one thing that's annoying me. Right, well, I'm going to offer him 90k then, and we'll give him a signing on bonus of 500. How about that? Sound good? See, now I look at that bench and I think that is pretty damn strong. And then I'm I'm very happy with the way we start the season. I'm very happy with the way that we're playing right now. I mean, we're unbeaten in three games. That's not bad. And with the addition of Tadebo at the back as well, I mean, look at some of these attributes here. He's got 76 pace, which is excellent. 83 strength, which is good. Uh, stamina could probably do with a little bit of work. Uh, he's not technically the best, and that's what I need to work on, but he's good in the areas that he needs to be. His defensive awareness is good, ball control is good, short passes is good. 
uh, and his tackling is good as well. Slide tackle 76, down tackle 81. We need to get that up, and I will be working on that with him in training. But so far, so good if you're a Watford fan. I'm very, very happy with the way that things have gone. Uh, sorry that we're only going to have two games today, but obviously that sign is kind of taking up a little bit more time than I thought. Um, so what we're going to have next time as well, Sheffield United... Uh, the transfer deadline day and probably Crystal Palace before then we move into the magic of the European Champions League and our group's been drawn so shall we see who we've got in the group stage that is our Champions League group Real Madrid, Watford, Braga and Dynamo Kiev I'm actually not too bad with the fact that we've got Braga and Kiev but Real Madrid will be coming to Vicarage Road and we're going to be making a trip to the Bernabeu that is... That is the stuff of legend. That is unbelievable. Real Madrid versus Watford. Not next episode. Probably the episode after. Unbelievable. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been a little bit of a mixed one, to be fair. I'm, I'm happy with the signing of Tadebo, but I do feel that maybe I could have got someone better, but I would have had to have cashed in on Camavain Girl off the cheek, and I don't think that was the best ploy. I could be wrong, and I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments section if you think that that is true. <laughs> Or you might just want to leave me a nice comment. I've had loads of nice comments recently. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. And thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do remember to drop a like on the video. Share it around with all your mates. Tell people about the say. Get more people into the channel. Build the Micro Munch community with me. And of course, subscribe if you have not already for plenty more content like this. And probably some that's maybe a little bit better. I say that. It's all top quality. All top quality. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Until I see you again, stay cool. Real Madrid. Bloody hell.